Hello everyone. Today I'm going to read out a fun story about making friends. And this story is in the form of a poem written by Sonia Mehta and the name of the story is Alabalu, the lost alien. Alabalu was playing hide and seek with his friends in outer space. When suddenly he saw a blue blue planet, he thought, that's my hiding place. While his friends hid behind the moon and the stars, he came to the earth like a shot. This is the perfect place to hide. They will never find me, he thought. He landed upon a lovely beach with a gigantic bump. He peeped out of his spaceship and then out he jumped. He looked around him curiously. He had never been on earth before. He gazed at the sea and the sand and the tree. He had never ever seen a shore. He waited for his friends to find him. Getting scared of the waves and the foam. I don't want to be here, he cried. I think I would better get home. He went right back to where he had landed and into his spaceship he crawled. But oh no, although he tried and tried, his spaceship wouldn't start at all. He thought of his friends and his mom and his dad. He suddenly missed them so. He wanted to get to his own planet. But how was he going to go? He looked around him, frightened. He was so far from home. There was no one here he knew at all. Oh dear, he was really alone. He thought of all the fun he had back home with his alien crew. He missed them all. He cried to himself, oh, whatever am I going to do? Poor lost Alabalu thought to himself, there is no one that I can call. I am so scared. I wish I hadn't dared to come to this planet at all. Then suddenly he heard a scratching sound. He looked around in fear. Who are you? A friendly voice asked. And what are you doing here? Why are you crying? asked the friendly voice. Don't be so scared of me. My name is Krabby and I am the king crab who lives here by the sea. Alabalu told Krabby sadly how he had come there to hide. But now I am stuck and I am all alone. I miss my mommy daddy, he cried. You are not alone, said Krabby kindly. Come on, just follow me. You can make new friends and before the day ends, you will have so much fun. Just you see. So Krabby called out to all his friends who lived on the beach by the sea. The starfish, the sandpiper, the big sea turtle and seagull asleep by the tree. Who do we have here? The friends did ask, looking at Alabalu in surprise. They had never for sure seen an alien before. They gazed upon him with wide eyes. Alabalu looked at them in fear. These creatures all seemed so odd. He felt so alone. He wished he was home, away from his funny-looking squad. This is our friend from a faraway planet. Let's welcome him into our home. He has lost his way and he can't go back and we can't leave him all alone. Alabalu looked at the strange group. What shall I do now? He despaired. But when he saw their friendly faces, he suddenly stopped feeling scared. Come on, said Sandy the starfish, holding out one of her arms. We'll play hide and seek, we'll teach you new songs, we'll picnic below the palms. Soon he made friends with all the little creatures. They really seemed to care. Turtle said, let's go into the deep, you'll meet more of us down there. So Alabalu dived into the deep blue sea, looking around him in wonder. He met giant whales and fish with funny tails. Oh, it was also lovely down under. Then Turtle said, looking, oh, so worried, Krabby is calling us back to the shore. Oh, no, 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 cried Alabalu. I wish we could play some more. So Alabalu and Turtle and Starfish together went back to find Krabby waiting there. I'm glad you are back, said Krabby to them. We can't find Seagull anywhere. Everyone looked for Seagull. He was simply nowhere to be found. He wasn't asleep under his favorite tree. He wasn't on the beach playground. He wasn't behind the big green bush. He wasn't flying out and about. Oh, Seagull old friend, where have you gone? Krabby gave a loud shout. 
Then suddenly they heard a squeaking sound. Listen to that sound, they said. It's coming from a spaceship, Alabaloo yelled, and to the spaceship they sped. Crabby and starfish and turtle followed, and who do you think was there? Seagull, smiling wide, calling them all inside. The spaceship, he said, I have repaired. My spaceship is fixed. Now I can go home. Alabalu jumped in glee. Then he looked sad as he saw his new friends. But I don't want to leave you, said he. Alabalu, old pal, said Krabby, we'll always remain your friends. Come and visit us whenever you want. In friendship, there is no end. So Alabalu waved to his new friends on earth as he began his long journey home. He now knew something he would never forget. With friends, you were never alone. Bye.